to tell you briefly about uh, one of the most compelling reasons why we should support Senator Goolsby's bill. Uh, not too long ago, I prosecuted uh, an individual who was white, uh, who broke into the house of an invalid. Uh, man could not get around. He walked around in a walker. He beat that man to death uh, using a hammer that he found in the house, robbed him of a spare change. The man that he robbed and beat was white. As the defendant tried to make his escape out of the house, there were two individuals that showed up to deliver meals on wheels, as we all know about. As they approached the house, the defendant armed himself with a gun and shot the woman in the back as she was holding a plate of food. She was white. He then turned the gun to the husband, who was in his 70s, pointed the gun at him, shot him, the man fell down, he stood on top of him, fired three or four more rounds at him. They, at, at that point, by a miracle, the gun jammed. He wasn't able to finish the job on the, the elderly man that, sat, that lay there on the floor with his wife dying up on the deck. That individual who committed these heinous murders confessed to what he did. We had a trial. The defendant was found guilty and he was sentenced to death. Shortly thereafter, this white defendant who killed two white individuals tried to kill a third white individual who was investigated by a white police officer. He was tried by me, a white prosecutor, in front of a white judge. He subsequently filed for relief, believe it or not, under the Racial Justice Act. There's no more compelling example of why we need to support Senator Goolsby's bill. The case that we talked about earlier that was mentioned about the longest sitting person on death row is a, is a person out of Forsyth County as well, who at the time had poisoned three or four different men. And she continues to remain on death row all these many years while their families wait for justice. And when I talk about that Meals on Wheels, and the Meals on Wheels case and that elderly gentleman and he came into my office and I said, sir, I'm going to work as hard as I can for you and I'm going to fight for justice for you in this case. But I'm telling you, because of the Racial Justice Act, you will never, ever live long enough to see justice done. It won't happen. That man is now 80 years old and he calls me about once a month trying to figure out if there's anything new happening with the case. And there's nothing happening with the case because the RJA has seen to it that not only the, in, in the normal procedure, it takes anywhere between 12 and 15 years to carry out an execution. The RJA has now added on another 10 or 15 years of litigation on top of that. As a trial lawyer, a person who's in the courtroom every day, I believe the person that, that is most capable of making decisions about whether or not race is a factor is the judge sitting up there on the bench, superior court judge. It's over, it's done with, he can, bats and motions can be filed, Motions for appropriate relief can be filed later on if, if newly discovered evidence comes out. I, I would urge you all to support Senator Goolsby in this bill. Give victims, black and white, Republican and Democrats, give them the justice that they have been waiting for and longing for all these many years. When they get that close, just to have the rug pulled out from underneath them, it's unfair to tell victims that we have a death penalty in North Carolina. It's unfair, because we don't. The Racial Justice Act has eliminated the death penalty for both whites, blacks, Republicans, and Democrats.